Thank you, Wayne. Uh, how close was that to the script that you would have written for yourself? Yeah, fairly close in that the first half went to plan. Um, you know, to get the bonus point by half time, uh, have the luxury of being able to rest a few players early on in the second half. Um, we had hoped to get to that position if possible, and we achieved that. Uh, what it did do is it meant that um, we we're a little bit disjointed in that second half, and it's one of the risks that you take. So, um, pleased at the end of the game to hold them out for the points differential as well, but certainly came for five and, and got five, so happy with that. The, uh, the health of your players, are you, uh, were they all fit and well coming off or were there one or two knocks there? Yeah, the normal sort of bumps and bruises. Um, nothing uh, is se uh, very, ser <coughs> excuse me, very serious, so uh, that's at the first glance. So we'll see how they are again tomorrow. What about the uh, style in which you put uh, Italy away? That, uh, that last try from Louis Rissamit in particular was something special, wasn't it? Yeah, look, we, we scored some good tries, um, but we're pretty disappointed that we actually left a couple out there as well. We uh, talked about being ruthless and, uh, and clinical, um, and I think at times there we were, but uh, there were a couple that we left out where uh, we didn't quite finish, and I think if Josh Adams had his time again, he would uh, probably attack that try line a little bit differently, but uh, certainly we created uh, at times. Uh, how good a rehearsal was it for Paris then, do you think? Oh, look, I think... You know, it's a, it's a difficult one because it's a totally different uh, opposition. Um, going to Paris will be a different uh, challenge for us, but certainly, you know, it's it's one game at a time and, and you can only play what's in front of you, and I think um, the boys manage that, as I say, in that first 40 to 50 minutes very, very, very well and obviously got a bit scrappy, and uh, that's what we'll look at to make sure that doesn't happen next week. And how would you sum up the, uh, the campaign so far compared to... Uh the doldrums that you had at times in the autumn? Well, chalk and cheese, aren't they? Look, um, we we know exactly the pain we went through in, in the autumns. Um, certainly not the results we're after, but you're seeing some of the players that got opportunities in the autumns playing out there now in the Six Nations, coming off the bench, some of them getting starts. Um, and I think they're that much better for it. Um, we've got a lot more depth, and we're going to have to keep building on that depth because... The big prize at the end of the day is, is working towards the Rugby World Cup in 2023 and this championship was always going to be a, a line in the sand for us and we're very pleased to be four from four, obviously, with an opportunity now that we can finally talk about and that's um, to, to try and go all the way and win five from five in a Grand Slam. How does it feel to be uh, finally getting that opportunity to discuss that without having to say we'll take the next match? Yeah, first. Yeah, it's very much a cliche, isn't it? But um, look, you have to. You just got to. You, if you get too far ahead of yourselves, then um, you know a game like Italy becomes a banana skin. And we talked uh, talked around that, and you know we've got to respect for for the way they attack, and they're looking to move a lot more ball. So we knew that our defence would get challenged more than uh, it, it has previously um, in matches uh, in in the Six Nations against Italy. So. Look, pleased to have held them to one try, and uh, certainly now, yeah, look forward to talking about France. Thank you very much. Who would like to follow up with Wayne, please? Hi, Wayne. It's Will here. How's it going? Good, thank you, Will. Um, obviously, with Paris next, we'll see how France get on in about now when they play England. But how many more levels do you think you'll have to go to to beat them and finish the job? Well, we need to improve. <clears throat> We're looking to improve each week. Um, so, look... Yes, they're, they're going to be a different proposition altogether. Um, you know, we'll see how they come out today after having a few weeks off, which is never an easy task. So but we'll watch that game. We'll, we'll, um, we'll review our performance. We'll preview them. And, and we know we're going to be in for a, a massive game. Um, the two times that we've played France so far, we've come on the receiving end of the results. So we know that we're going to be in for a, a massive, massive challenge. The previous times that Wales have won a Grand Slam, in the Six Nations era at least, they've always been at home, but this one's going to be different going away from home, obviously. How much of a challenge is that going to be for your guys? Well, the whole fans, no fans, sort of um, it gets neutralised a little bit. Um, the good thing was we, we travelled out to Paris uh, in the warm-up test before the um, uh, autumn series got underway, so... You know, we've been there, we played it in a late kick-off there, 9 o'clock last time, so it'll all be familiar territory for us, which is a good thing. Um, but look, I think if you ask this side coming out of the autumns, uh, would they take a, a four from four uh, travelling to Paris for a potential Grand Slam? I think uh, you know the answer. 
Would anybody else like to follow? On entend que des phrases. C'est un cauchemar. Just one question of me, if possible, uh, Luke. Um, well, there's a there's a stat uh, doing the rounds on Twitter that you've now matched uh, Wales' all-time record of Six Nation tries of 17, with obviously a game in hand. Do you think that gives you gives a nod to the to the reason possibly why many people were excited about by your appointment and the way that you want to play the game? Look. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that stat, but certainly, um, you know, it's, it's pleasing to score tries. People love seeing tries being scored, and uh, we certainly like playing a, a brand of rugby where we give ourselves the opportunity to score plenty of tries. But, you know, we've just got to make sure that, you know, we get the balance in our game right, and that's something we've been tweaking and working on. I think, um, you know, you, you saw our intent there today. We weren't as clinical as we would have liked, but certainly the intent was there, and we've just got to make sure we get our conversion right, rate right, um, and hopefully we can continue to score some more tries. Beth, please. Hi, Wayne, it's Beth here. Um, you said in the week that you didn't change many people because you wanted to try out the combinations and give them more time. Uh, How pleased were you with the combinations that went out there today? Yeah, I think to, to have four tries in the bag by half-time, we, we were very pleased with that part of the game. To have held um, Italy scoreless um, was also very pleasing. So we, we sort of achieved everything we wanted to in that half, and then um, that allowed us the opportunity to rest some of the, the bigger, um, the big boys, if you like, George North, um, Alan jones Toby Fallatales, Ken Owens, the guys that have been um, playing a lot of game time. So, you know, really, really pleased to have got ourselves in that position to be able to do that. We talked about the, the, how many tries you've now scored. Is this Wayne Ball at its best? Is, is it getting there? It was probably... Um, Stephen might want to have something to say about that too as the attack coach. Look, look it's a collective work um, in this group um, and I think you know, it's just a sign of, of what we want to do. I think um, we, we want to be very positive when we've got the ball. Um, it was far from perfect today but certainly the intent was there as I said earlier. So look it's, it's, it's part of our game. We, we want to keep, um, keep tweaking the attack and getting better and better if we can. Brilliant. Thank you very much and congrats on the win. Thank you. Wayne, if I could just jump in with a quick one. Um, was was Gethin Jenkins uh, a little bit annoyed to concede that try today? He was annoyed in the first half at uh, 27-0 um, because we weren't dominating enough tackles um, and we weren't bringing enough line speed. So Gethin, is, um, he had a chat at half-time around that um, and I think you saw that come out in the last 10 minutes when the messages were going on thick and fast around um, defending that try line because, you know, it is a at a certain point in the game it becomes a dress rehearsal for the game next week and certainly defence at the end was, was paramount and we're pleased that we held them out.